Maya Jaga Manaha. There is no good and bad, there is only good. But we in the mind, we make good and bad. Sadaguru he namatira Kaha pohunko arane vale Sadaguru he namatira 1992, the first time when we did the nine fires. On the ninth day, the last day, was dedicated to Durga, which is the goddess who destroy all evil forces. On the last day, in 1992, the Protestants in Northern Ireland lay down their arms and start talking peace. And it had rained for 16 months constantly, and when we did the first fire, it was the 3rd of October, the whole sky turned blue, and it stayed blue for nine days. And we didn't have nine days of dry weather for 16 months before that. So that is quite magic as well. So, I don't make the magic like, you know, these things just happen. I think I'm the only one who does it here, an island, but I don't know too much about it, like, you know. In general, my guru wants to unite all religions because he say the experience of God is inside and uh, it's all the same. Everybody has the same God inside. He appeared to me in a vision. He appeared to me when he was dying in my room and he told me to uh, make him a temple in Ireland. And somebody gave me money to buy this place and then I made a small temple here and I learned the ritual. But I do like it. It feels like I must have done it in past life as well. Don't be too dogmatic, don't take things too serious. That is what uh, the problem is with religion. So people just think they are the only religion. No, everybody is different and everybody has a different way of faith and experiencing. Their, their, their instinct, like all the animals have an instinct to survive life. That is how God created all living beings. And a lot of people, they are like animals, they just follow their instinct. But human beings can be aware about the animal instinct and overrule it. Without the instinct we wouldn't survive, but the awareness of what we are and what we do and why we do things Human beings seem to have a consciousness which grows higher and higher in evolution time to make more aware about things and there's a big revolution going on in human beings and inventions in the last 120 years. There's a big change, I think this is the Aquarius time they talked about. Nobody knew exactly when the age of Aquarius started but I think it did start in the 80s, like you know, with the IT. But uh, before that, there was television and radio as well, which was kind of new to society. The, the prophecy about the Aquarian age is about air, that everything goes through the air. And now the mobile phone and, and the communication and the information, that is all in the air. And I believe particles in the air might uh, get weak by the electromagnetic energy. You could call it the divine plan, but you could also call it evolution, I don't know, like, you know. And if the computer and the mobile phone and, and, and all that and the IT is part of the divine plan to make the world together so we can all see each other and hear each other, that's good too, yeah. Before the mobile phone, we communicated on a telepathic way. And now we still do, but we are not aware about it. But nobody knows the divine plan. You have to look inside and try to find out what is your purpose in this world. And if we are religious and follow God's will, we do His purpose. If we are ignorant about it and don't control about it, some of us, like, you know, just run around like stupid animals. And other people um, just seem to be enjoying life without... Uh, doing anything about religion, it depends, it is kind of complicated, but I believe nobody can tell anybody what to believe. People have to look inside and find themselves what they believe. <laughs>